Hey, Dark Sky here, and we are continuing to play Repoly. And uh, there's a dragon flying above right now. I just saw it. I don't know. I, it always says that the mother dragon is out and about. So I don't know. I guess I have to watch out for that. I, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so today I'd like to continue looking for this metal. I don't know where, where to look for it. Uh, I did empty out my inventory. I just got some arrows in there, so that'll make uh, things a little bit easier. So let's go out. Let's start uh, searching this area. Oh, that's weird. How does that water stay up there without water? Well, running off into the lake. Huh. Check out that little fire horse up there, huh? Pretty neat. Just saw a glimpse of it up there. There's a neat looking bridge down here. Oh. <laughs> you hold the right mouse button, I guess he like blocks. Oh, just looks cool when he blocks. He looks like a fighter. Whoa, wait a minute. There is a there's a fox over there. I don't think it, see the hound, so it's just the fox, not not fox and the hound. Let's see if we can't limit these guys a little bit. Oh, that guy did not have as many hit points. That's nice. I don't like those those dogs with a lot of hit points. Because it takes a long time to kill. But boy, that guy only went down in three hits. That was pretty sweet. As a horse here, see, I was thinking if I had that lasso, if I could just lasso the, the horse and then bring him with me. I don't know. There's a dog up there, too. There you go. It's another three hitter. I like it. I like it. There's the dragon. What the hell is that other noise? It sounds sounds crazy. Oh, look at that. It is a bridge there, but <laughs> that bridge looks like it's in L repair or something. I don't know. Did I not get the uh, the arrows off the uh, dead foxes when I killed them, or dead dogs, or whatever you want to call them? There's one, one arrow. Let me see. Oh, it puts it back in my inventory. Okay, I'll just put it back there. There we go. 24 arrows right back to full. Is it that deer that just made that noise? Dang, he runs, doesn't he? He's fast. So I'm thinking this might be... Might be a good area to look for metal. Look for our copper. There's a lot of little bridges across this thing. It's going to stink because I was thinking, you know, I could get a boat. I could go down the river you know, pick up things along the way, but if it's uh, blocked like that, that's not going to work too well. Hmm. Cool horse right here. Check that out. Quite the steed. These are, rabbits are crazy. They usually take like three arrows. That's a tough rabbit. It should take one arrow. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, that's just rock. Let's 
something over there. It's kind of cool. I don't know what, what's going on over there. That's neat. Maybe we should go investigate. There's a lot of horses. It seems to just kind of hang out over here. We just have to spend all day just hunting rabbits, I tell you. These guys are fast. We get a drink on while we're swimming. We are talented. Drink and swim at the same time. I wonder if this is like a meteorite or something. There's a deer there. Oh, shoot. I was going to say, you see that shot? Oh, look at that. That was awesome. You got six hide from that. I'm going to have a lot of hide pretty soon. I don't know if I have this teleporter. I don't, but it's in the right spot for this Metaroid. So we can check out the Metaroid. Anything around it? Anything nasty? Nope. All right, let's go... Uh, Hit it with our pick. Oh, this guy, it has copper on it. Oh, that's where you get the metal. Oh, you just take it. Oh, that's cool. So I got those magical gems and a bunch of copper from that, that Metroid. There's that dumb dog. I knew I could hear him. Put your head up so I can hit you. There you go. More hide. That's good. Now I should be able to make those uh, those nails. But it's weird that you have to get it from a Metaroid versus getting it from, you know, uh, metal or something, you know. You know, from a rock. <laughs> Strange. Uh, almost those cracks look like they're big enough to swallow me. So we're back here in this crazy looking forest place. Oh, there's a deer right there. Oh, dear. Oh, he didn't come running at me like the other one did. Oh, yeah, he did. Come on. Come on over here. Where are you going? Oh, look at that shot. That was a beautiful shot. That was a thousand dollar shot right there. Man, I tell you. Okay, let's cut open these barrels. See what, what kind of prizes we get today. Let's see. There we go. Uh, so we got some more pelts. Nice. Oh, 
we got some nails. Nice. I might actually be able to make that tannery now. Let's see, that's just stone there. Oh, is that the deer? Nope. Otherwise, that shot would have took him down. <laughs> what is this area called? Because it looks much different than what our normal stomping ground. Oh, this is the dark forest. Hmm. And our little deer guy ran in here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Hmm, no, I'm not seeing him. Yeah, I just thought that was the normal stuff. Well, there's mushrooms in these parts, and they'd be good eating. But there is also magical creatures that I imagine have like a lot of hit points, and they're probably pretty, pretty nasty. So I don't really want to mess with those guys too much. Not unless I have a little bit better gear, and I'm hoping to get better gear. Oh, see, now this guy here would be kind of a cool kill. If he wasn't so fast. Maybe my scent is hidden by the big rock. Let's get to open this barrel. See what's in it. No, nothing. Can we get this? Can we get this guy? This guy would be a cool kill, huh? Put him on my. Uh... Oh, right over his head. Got him that time. He's still running? I would say he is. <laughs> or that, he disappeared into the mountain. I don't know. Where'd he go? Oh, what is this? This is something I haven't seen before. Oh, you need a shovel. It's clay. Oh, that's neat. I imagine that deer probably has... Oh, goodness. What is that, dude? Big blue guy. giant smurf over there there's like a building right there too it says for uh, to repair I don't know. I wonder what kind of hit points that guy has huh and if I hit him does it do I get his buddy too I don't know oh there's more of them got some little green guys over there too This is where I should have built up. So I was like right here next to the, um, right next to the ocean, you yeah.
There we go. That guy just stood still for that last shot. He must have knew his name. His no days were numbered. So I guess when that sound kind of goes flying over and sounds like a spaceship or something, that's a meteorite or whatever that's uh, shooting over us. So we have to follow those to go and get uh, get the metal or whatever crystals from that. Those crystals we should be able to um, we should be able to uh, make that magic staff, I'd imagine. I don't know. I think I'd prefer to hold on to it and maybe uh, make something a little bit better or down the road or something. I don't know. I don't really walk through up here too much. Maybe I'll get lucky and find something interesting. I mean, we are headed back home. Right? Yeah. Because it shows that the bed is like a long ways away, but I could have sworn it was just up this river. Oh, here's another wolf. We got four shots. Goodness, I hope that's enough. Oh, perfect. Perfect amount. There, now we'll put those 16 back in there. There we go. Might need a uh, repair kit on our bow here pretty soon. It's about half down now. Thought I heard a dog up there. Or a fox or wolf or whatever you want to call them. So I'm guessing that this area, this stomping ground right here, is kind of the, uh, like, the newbie area, the beginning area, if you will. So, why do I keep hearing something right there, but I don't see anything. So this is kind of, I guess this is kind of where we want to be. I mean, I'm only level 7, so not exactly too high here. So I'm in the in the right area at the moment. If we go off that philosophy that this is the uh, this green area is kind of the uh, beginner zone. Let's see here. We're gonna need. We need another comet to come down, I guess, if we're going to get even more metal and more nails and all that fun stuff. Guess I have to come down off this area now. It's like the road is turning. See, there's a lot of those green deer around here. Oh, what's this? Oh, just normal. Just must have been in the sunlight. That just made them look a little strange. Let's see, I know that behind my base is like a little... Uh, not a little. It's like a... I don't know. Of base it is oh see now i know we're getting close because there it is it's um one of those green guys bases and there's the seed i want right there that fire one that that'd be sweet
Now I saw some of the blue guys. I see them up there on the um those towers. But I thought I saw one sitting out front. And I was thinking, ooh, I should just do a little snipe shot at one. See what uh I could just get one guy to come out. See what kind of stuff, you know, he drops, but I don't know. I didn't want him to come out and then he'd realize, oh, your house is right here. And he'd just come over here and destroy the house here or something. I don't know. I don't know how smart these enemies are, so. Okay, so we are back home. Let's see if we can't uh, blend these nails together. Now, I think it's just for the research, isn't it? No, it's not, because it's for building, right? So, and building doesn't require you to research it first. You can just make it outright. So let's see if we have the right goodies to make this tannery. So I need 30 cloth and five rope. All right, let's see what we got. So I got six ropes, so that's probably that five. And then I needed 30 cloth. Ooh, man, that's... And we got this here. Oh, I can make 90. So I, should, I only need 30, though. So let's get down here. Let's do 50. There we go. And while I'm here, I might as well fix my bow. There we go. And oh my gosh, my food is really down. <laughs> I'm almost starving. All right, let's get some food in me. Looks like I need some water too, goodness. There we go. Full of water. It's a good thing I live next to this uh, freshwater creek thing here. There we go, 37. That's, that's good. It's better off than where I was before. Let's see, that makes us 26, 28. There we go, 30. Nice. That's what I think I needed. I'm going to put the tannery. I want to put it out here. So let's see here. We got to uh, do this. That's it, right? Okay, that's it. We put that right there. Awesome. Let's see what we can do with that, huh? I got 25 hides. That's pretty cool. And we can convert that into 50 leather. Wow. Okay. So if I have that much leather, what can I make? Because I got another piece of leather right here. Let's go to research, armor. I'm going to try just the head. So I only need like seven leather, five cloth. So I got cloth here and we need some rope. So go to crafting rope. We don't need 60, I'd say about 30 maybe. Craft that. All right, now let's go back out, see what our, uh, our uh, leather's like. So it looks like we got 10 pieces of leather. So we're up to 11 pieces now. XP is just really going to town here. And then I got uh, the rope here. I go to research. Research the helmet. Ooh, we can do a leather cape. Nice. Can't get any more. Can we craft this? No. Wow, you need 15 leather for just one? Wow. It's a lot of leather just for one piece. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, well, we got 12 there, so now we're up to 16. Can I at least just get the helmet? There we go. Let's grab that. All right, so now I got a helmet. Let's put that on, see what I look like, huh? Oh, yeah, I'll leave that there. Oh, look at that. That's yeah, going to look nice. Just got to get the rest of my ensemble. Let's see, research. I want to do the, uh, the breastplate because the breastplate looks cool with that black and everything. That looks neat. But I'm going to need some cloth. So I got the cloth there. Now I just need 17 leather. Ah, we got more hide here and leather. So I need, do I need it over there? No, right there. Yep, that's what I need. So now I need 16 more leather. All right. Good deal. Oh, hey, 16 more leather. Look at that. It was like I just, like I called it, huh? There we go. 14 more leather. That'll help. So we come over here and we want research that. There we go. Nice. We got the leather top. Average that's going to be like, what, 30? Yeah, 35. It always seems to be double the amount that you needed to have to, to research it. So it's kind of funny. Well, yeah, not kind of funny, but you know what I mean? It's like crazy. So I can make 20 of those. Really? Out of 60? Well, okay, whatever. Let's do it then. See, I got the rope here. Oh, I need to keep the rope over here. Okay. And then I just need the cloth. I could take this copper ore. You know, I'm waiting because, man, 35. I don't know. That's going to be nuts. I don't even know if I can do 35. So here we can put this in here. And I thought I had some more charcoal, but I don't. So let's max that out for eight. So let's get us eight more. And then we need to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. We already got to check our uh, how far we are on leather. 24. And we got, it looks like a couple more pieces getting made. Oh, two. 26. Whoa, so close. <laughs> so close. All right. So let's see. 26. It doesn't quite do it. We just need what? Four, nine? Nine more pieces? Hmm. All right. Well, let's put it over here. Probably just go and hunt uh, those fox. I mean, they, that seems to be a pretty good deal. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make me some food here, I think. And I will put that stuff over here because I don't need it no more. I do need, however, to make me a chest. Oh, look at all this meat. Holy cow. Is that it? All right, good. Well, look at that. Uh, we are we are golden. All right, so let's put this. So we can make cooked meat. We can make cooked brown mushrooms or cooked fish. Okay. Well, let's load that up. We're going to need charcoal anyways for the um, thing out there so 
This is going to actually work kind of in our favor because we'll get food, we'll get charcoal. We can use the charcoal out here in the furnace. And it looks like the furnace is done. Yep. So we got eight more copper bars. And if we go over here to the copper bars, drop it in here. We can make some more nails. Now, I wanted to make a chest because, you know, I'm kind of running out of space here. Uh, let's see. Here's a small chest. Uh, does it say how many slots it has? Uh, it does not. It just says it's a small chest to store items in, and that's a large chest. See, that would be nice if, like, if they put on there that how many items it store. But, you know, I guess if we make it once, we'll know. So it looks like we need five planks, five nails. So let's look in here. There's four. Oh no, result in items. Okay. Oh, okay. We can just do two. That'll work. That'll get us uh, at least six nails. Not to mention the four that are already up here. Oh no, seven. Okay. And then we needed uh, planks. We should transfer a lot of this wood into planks. We don't, we really honestly don't need that much. Uh, say a hundred planks, maybe? Or a hundred wood? Do that. That's going to get us some, get us some levels there. Uh, we can also transfer some of this into planks. How many? All right, uh, let's do a hundred of those. Craft that, there we go. So we should be good there. Now let's make, yes. Thinking, just put it right here. Can, uh, it can't be on the wall. Like that. All right, let's see. Oh, it only has, what, eight, ten? Ten slots? Well, that's not bad. We can work with that. We could put in the sharp stones and armor that we are currently dropping off. We'll put those into that chest. We don't need... Need the axe up there. That way I'll keep that area open for more resources to put in there so that we can do all of our research and everything. Okay. Alright, then just leave that there. Let me see. How are we doing our food? We got 19 cooked meat. Nice. How much do we get per meat? 5 health, 15 hunger, 10 energy. Oh, that's nice. So let's eat some of that cooked meat. There we go. That really brings up our uh, our numbers on our food. 60, 75, 90. That should be good. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to try to, like, focus on maybe just getting enough stuff to, like, uh, outfit us on uh, leather. And, uh, and then we should be good there. Should be good. I think I hear another uh, comet coming down or something. Or maybe it's just a wind. Oh, I see. It's lit wind and lightning and all that. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good deal. Good deal. Um, we did some good things. And uh, we got a lot of hide. We finally got the tannery. I'm happy with that. It's strange. Oh, there is another meteorite over there. And it's right next to one of the um, things. Oh, and there's. Oh, that's cool how it shows on the little mini map. So if we took this portal that's right here and jumped over here, then we could run back. And it has a timer, too, on how long it stays there. So that's interesting. 
I guess that's one way for us to be able to get what we need. But uh, look at that, just level, level eight. Awesome. But uh, yeah, we're doing good things. The good things are happening. I like it. Uh, we're moving ahead. We're getting better armor, hopefully better weapons and tools later, you know. But, uh, you know, baby steps, baby steps. But uh, for now, uh, if you're new here, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're liking the content, please hit that like. I'd really appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm and all that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. You take care now and bye-bye.